Hi guys, Squirrel here, and back with some Train Simulator. This time I'm going to go on the New York to New Haven. This was a scenario that was recently on a Steam sale, I think. Uh, I would expect some more Steam sales as we approach Easter, but this was a few weeks ago. Uh, and I'm going to go for this one here. This looks quite fun and interesting. It's the Amtrak Acela Express. The three scenarios for this one, and I'm going to go with this. I've, I kind of like the look of that one, but it seems a bit stoppy. And this one seems like fun, because this one starts in the sidings here. Sunny side yard, so not quite cold and dark, I don't think, but either way, it sounds like we're starting off from the beginning of the uh, of the day, 6.50 a.m., uh, cloudy, summer, should be nice, let's have a go. And here we are, in sunny, did he, <laughs> did he call this sunny siding yard or something? Hmm, the irony. Here we are, Amtrak is seller, looks like the f headlights are already on the front position now i've got track ir running look at this left and right up and down it's so cool track ir support came in finally in the last patch uh, good morning today we are in charge of the first northbound Asana express the train is ready to depart so you can proceed towards new york penn be quick you need to pick up passengers at 703 it's 650 now okay now then uh there's no cab light in this thing that i could find uh, but there is this <laughs> the dimmer, which doesn't really dim. It just kind of goes on and off. Uh, a number of controls are over here to do with the pantograph, uh, but you'll note that the pantograph is already up. If I click this, you'll see there's two pantographs there, and uh, the left one means the pantograph is already up. So if we look outside, we should, there you go, confirm that. There's the pantograph, so we've got full power. We don't need to worry about that. There's a cruise control, handbrake, sander, all that good stuff. Uh, the reversers and things are here. This is the power, that's the cruise control. Over here is the brake. And then finally on the right is the headlight switch, which is already set, so we don't need to worry about that. We've even got the bell. We've got destination display on and off, but I couldn't seem to make it do anything. Uh, you can drag that to the right and it will change the destination. But, as I say, on the outside, doesn't seem to make it... A visual difference so I'm a little bit confused about what that does and how that works wipers are good don't know if we'll need them but it's got a decent wiper on it so let's get going we should as we move forward you should be able to see some something um, but a daylight so we can see what's going on let's put the reverser into forward release the brake okay brake pressure coming down and we've got a speed limit of 15 so we'll start moving forward. Bringing our speed up. There's the mile an hour display here. So that'll do. Now, sunny side loop A is here. Let's go external for a second, have a look at this beauty. Oh, the grind. Whoops, wrong button. That's what I was trying to press. The frame rate is a little bit tanked at the moment. There's a lot of scenery around. What a lovely sound. <laughs> right, F1. Pick up passengers from pen track A. 702 departure. Alright, so we've got to get through here. Sunnyside loop first. Pen track A. Right, let's center on player. This is complicated. Look at this. Show the task ahead. Oh, right. Okay. This is interesting. So it looks like we're going to go around this loop. Whoa. The sunny the sunny side loop. That's an appropriate name. Uh, crikey. How the heck do we get on the right? Whew. We are going to have to be quick, actually. So, pick up passengers from track 12. Blimey. Blimey. We don't have to worry about that when we get further down this line, I think. Can't even see what's going on there. Okay, we better get up to speed. I'm not sure how long the loop's going to take. I am on career mode, which is a bit of a problem. Um, because if I'm late, I'm going to lose a lot of points. There we go. Let's try and hit the maximum speed. There you go. The frame rate's picking up now. All that high-rise building and stuff, I think, was causing a bit of a tank in the frame rate. The Big Apple. Look at that top left. The Big Apple. <laughs> New York. Right, you can kind of see the controls a bit better now. 
Pantograph Select allows you to do sort of both or, you know, front, rear, up, down. Because it actually has dual pantographs just here. One, that one's down at the moment. Uh, what else have we got? Got the cruise control, which we can turn on. The timer doesn't work. The handbrake does work. That That's on the forward slash key as well, I think. The hotkey for that. Uh, the sander and the auto brakes. The screens you can turn on and off. And then turn them back on again. That's all they seem to do. There's a reset, a tilt isolate and an emergency stop. That's what we've got on the left. Signal speed, track speed. So the track speed just moved up to 20, so let's bring the speed up. There we go. It's as fast as we can go at the moment. So you don't need to worry about these so much once you get going. The horn is here. Very American horn. <laughs> I think we'll stay inside. That metal on metal. Ooh. It's like nails down a blackboard. It's so nice being able to freely look around finally. The interesting thing about this track IR is you can actually do crazy things. Hang on, have we got a red signal above us? Okay. Quest to pass it danger approved, so we can keep going. Yeah, with the track IR, you can kind of go like this and go all the way down. And you see your feet. <laughs> it's just kind of cool. At some point, I am going to have to worry about the signaling side of this. Center on player, where are we? Okay, we've made the loop. We are heading in this way. Track east. Blimey, at what point do we need to switch in? No way this is going to take us all the way to 12. There's 12 there. What kind of complicated signal is this? How do we even do that? I can't see any switching. Oh, we're speeding up here. I think we're going downhill. Yeah, we're just going down a very gentle slope. That's fine. Little bit worried about the signalling. Every time I release the brakes and we just pick up speed big time, look at it. I have to keep putting the brake on. I think the back of the train is currently going down that slope. You can kind of see the undulations here. It looks like we're going to go up and then down again. It's not level ground. I have to stay in the cab for a second. It's a very responsive train, like when you put the power on, uh, you get speed fairly quickly. That's one thing I have noticed. I've not tried braking into a station yet, so I don't know what the performance characteristics of the, of the braking are. But if it's as good as acceleration, we'll be fine. Looks like we're about to go down into a tunnel. <laughs> Quite a complicated scenario, this one. A lot of scenery, but the frame rate seems to be holding. Oh, 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 break in. There we go, into the tunnel. Now I've got a 45, 60 limit, cool. So now look, as we accelerate, how much we pick up speed. It doesn't mess about. Well, this is a bit of a downslope. Blimey, I feel like we're on a fairground ride. <laughs> no! <laughs> look at the slope! Go 
going deep underneath the city now. This is pretty cool. Twenty percent braking just about holds the speed. Signal speed of sixty. It's fine. This is going down as quite a slope. We are really going down here. It's a it's a shame it doesn't tell you how far underground you are right now. That would be kind of cool. Darn it, six points lost. Okay, up, and as we get out the tunnel, 15 mile hour speed limit and into Penn Station. Penn Track 12. If this doesn't drop me onto 12, then... Seriously, not sure what I'm supposed to have done. <laughs> so, a train driver wouldn't normally have to worry about those things. Seven oh, was it seven oh two? We need to be there. Depart seven oh three. Current arrival time seven oh two fifty two. It's close. I need to kill my speed as we exit this tunnel, but I don't want to break because we're running against a fairly tight ship. So I'm going to leave my braking to the last minute and hope it works. Can't believe this. We are climbing this hill purely on momentum. Okay, that's getting close. I think we need to start braking now. get down to 15. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Keep the speed, keep the speed. That was pretty good, actually. That's not bad at all. Wow, look at this track. This is like World of Subways all of a sudden. Only just made this on time. Probably lost a little bit of time at the start. No, 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 no. Sixteen point oh loses points. Fifteen point nine is okay. <laughs> okay, I don't see many passengers here. Oh, there's one. Blimey, look how high up we are. This is pretty cool. It just gives you an idea of the scale of this train right now. How far are we at the back there? Okay. Wow, I'm actually running a little bit late, I think. Okay, I think we just need to stop here now. And get the passengers on board. New York Penn! Sweet! Passages, go, go, go. Come on, get on board, love. We can't mess around. Got to leave her. Oh, three. She's like ten seconds away. You better run. Right, then we've got a 15 speed limit all the way. Then a 30 and a 15, so there's not, not much point in accelerating there. Then a 30 and a 60 out the tunnel. Cool. All aboard next up Stanford. You need to switch cabs to do this. Press control plus on the keyboard. You will also need to initialize the cab signaling to do this. Press control tab on the keyboard. Oh my god. Control plus control tab. Okay. Uh, the lights on the front of this thing? No. H for headlights. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. 
Let's go. We're actually going this way. The 30 mile an hour limit. That was a surprise. <laughs> How come the speed limit's 30 going back? And then drops into 15 in the tunnel. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. There we go. Ooh, that was close. You've got to be careful on career. I could easily derail that then. So where the heck are we going then? Right, we're going there, via gate main to US. Okay, we're heading back the way we came, but not going via the circle. Come on, hit that 60 limit. Go via main to west, arrive 712. Okay. Let's go. Look at it, pick up speed down here. Whoa. Forty. Fifty. I think I'll back off on the throttle now. Nope, a bit more. Cool, that should do it. Whew. So we've got a couple of goal wires, or a few goal wires, down to Stamford Track 2, 746 is the ultimate goal. It's a nice interior, I'll give it that. And if you actually look at this, can we see that display properly? It's kind of hard to look at that display, but it's basically an operator's manual. Uh, not particularly useful, but it's a nice touch. Interestingly enough, there's another seat over there. Which also has an emergency brake on it. And a horn. And not sure what that is, but it doesn't seem to work. So you've got some kind of assistant driver. Although you've got the main controls, he can actually stop the train and sound the horn. Other than that, there is some stuff above us, but none of it seems to be clickable. Start, stop, hot, cold, emitter, standby. So heating controls, presumably. And that's pretty much it. Not even sure what that is. Some kind of intercom radio system, I think. So the cruise control is a little bit odd. I'm not going to use it because we keep changing speeds, but you kind of click the cruise control there and then you use this slider to hold your speed roughly in the middle or go a bit quicker or go a bit slower. That's how it works. I've kind of driven trains, I think, with slightly better implementations of cruise control. Not that it's the fault of the implementation, it's the it's the train design. <laughs> it's true to the train design, but what I mean is I've been I've driven trains that have easier to operate cruise controls, that's what I meant to say. Okay, let's bring the speed down a touch. TSNY Clothes, apparently. Okay, speed down to forty five. Let's have a look outside, if we dare. So the sun's coming up now, so we can see a lot more. Let's put look at that. Now that is a nice view. Okay, let's get back in the in the cab here. With the speed limit change. Oh man, I'm speeding already. Are you kidding me? That's weird, it says 20 already. Oh, look at the points! Are you kidding me? I just lost 500 points. 
and it's not even at a 20 mark yet. The 20 speed came early. Oh, man. Well, that's just ruined all chances of a gold star. 500 points lost there. I thought it was obeying track, track limits, but apparently not. Well, ain't that annoying. Now, what's that saying? It's green. Acoustics are quite nice. Like I say, the frame rate's not great, though. It's green now. Oh, that's the sun. Look at that. Did you see the sun just move then? <laughs> it just went from here. Don't dink. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know the sun did that. I'll have to pay attention next time. Okay, just waiting for a 60. Come on. There we go. I love the sunrise hitting the buildings like that. That looks beautiful. Notice the frame rate when you face forward. Like, it lags like hell when you do that, when you face away from all those buildings and it doesn't have to render them. Super smooth. a pretty nice uh, scenery going on here. Don't know how authentic it is. Lots of American trucks, pickups, some nice bridging. Seven twelve was supposed to be at main two, which is from point three. So it looks like we're going to be pretty much on time. I love the way it's banking like that. It's fantastic. Sunrise and sunset, best times of the day. You just get these like long shadows and they just, I don't know, it just looks so cool. They just catch buildings. Much more interesting. Used to uh, do a lot of drawing when I was younger. Like pencil drawing and stuff. And the uh, main thing I used to draw was buildings, funnily enough. Buildings and boats. Asked me to draw an animal, anything living, couldn't do it. Asked me to draw anything, any th a 3D object, any 3D object, I can do it, no problem. I've got that kind of geometric head, but I don't have the head for anatomy and form. And uh, one of the things I used to actually draw at high school, my sort of final year art piece was a a building by the coast and, the, and there was a big stormy sky and the light was coming in from the right and it would catch the building and create these kind of dramatic shadows you got a really strong sense of light and dark oh, look at the bridge coming up here look at this now funnily enough we're not lagging here and yet look at all that scenery isn't that weird Loads and loads and loads of buildings. And yet, yeah, super smooth frame rate.
Yeah, this is pretty cool. Oh, now it's, now it's lagging a bit. It seems to be those high-rises at the back that cause the problem. Right, 50 mile an hour over the bridge by the look of it, so let's shave some speed off. Bizarrely, the bridge seems to go downhill. There we go. Lovely. A nice view in the background. Oh, the frame rate! <laughs> okay, I'll stop taking scenic vantage points now. Oh, that's a nice view out the window if you're the cab driver. Kind of hazy sunrise. Ooh. I would give him a toot with the horn, but that would, I would lose points for inappropriate use of horn on career mode. Oh, come on. Not speeding. It's about to go to 60. Thank you. Okay. Let's have a look. Another look outside. Yeah, no, look at that. There's even a baseball court down there. Wow. Serious detail, actually. Much more than I expected. Alright, what's the next stop? 7.26, go via Shell Main 2 East, arrive 7.26, cool. 10 miles. So we've got another 10 miles of gorgeous scenery. Can I just put this on 20%? That should do it, shouldn't I? Oh, look at this freight train. Look at this. Oh, so that is awesome. Now that looks sweet. <laughs> oh, but look at the size of it. I thought this train was big. No! Stupid bridge. Perfectly timed bridge right there. busy around here. Kind of makes me think of City Skylines right now and how you design that. Oh, those games, like Tr Transport Tycoon Deluxe, which interestingly has a, a project called Open TTD, which they carried it on. It was such a good game. You had to lay out all your own track and solve the signalling. Such a good game. You kind of start thinking like that then when you see track si uh, situations like this and freight trains on it. Don't know if you played City Skylines yet, guys, but um, I streamed it the other day for like six and a half hours. Such a good game. Well recommended. It's kind of like SimCity done properly. Think of it that way. Well worth a look, though. Got some bizarre speed limits here. 60, then 55, down up to 70. I guess the curve is the problem. So yeah, I, I you probably like the last video I made was the year of the squirrel one. So obviously, you know, if you've watched that, you'll know that I am going full time at the start of April, April the second to be exact. The date was to coincide with the launch of Project Cars, but Project Cars has now been slipped again, and is now mid May, I think, currently. 
We'll see. Whether they actually release then or move it again, who knows. Uh, but, you know, the squirrel will go ahead anyway. I'll just play something else. Pretty much planning an all-day stream that day. Uh, not sure what I'll play yet. TBA. But in terms of my channel, there will definitely be more content um, on the YouTube side of things. The videos have been lacking lately. There's a lot going on in the background that obviously you're not seeing, but prepping for Gear of the Squirrel is taking a lot of time up. Uh, you will start to see some other kind of vlog videos coming soon as I re rebuild my gaming room and gaming rig. So look out for those. That's just some of the stuff that's going on in the background. But in terms of videos and games that I'll play, uh, Train Simulator, Flight Simulator, Truck Simulator, all those kind of, you know, staple games that I play, you're definitely going to see regular content on that. Definitely. And then I'll be bringing other things into the mix as well. Now, first look videos, any kind, like, th something like, say, Car Mechanic Sim 2015, which is coming out shortly, I'll play that through. But unlike the last one, where I kind of, you know, released a video and then wouldn't release another one for a week or two weeks. It won't be like that anymore. I'll just play the whole thing through fairly quickly. Because I can, because I'll be able to do it full time. So that's the kind of change that will happen. And things like this war of mine, which was you know very popular when I placed a couple of videos out. People loved it and said do more, and I just couldn't do it. Games like that I could pick up and then play quite hard. Make lots of videos. Um, so yeah, that's the kind of difference you're going to see. Other than that, it doesn't really mean I'm going to change games. I mean, all the games that I love, all the games that you love to watch, they're all going to stay. But you're just going to see more of it, more regular. So it's all good. I have to say, they've put a lot of, a lot of effort into this. Incredible. I wonder how long it takes a map author, a map editor, to do something like this, to do a scenario like this, because it is a lot of work here. You know, everything you see had to be laid out in a world editor. It must take like days and days and days. Right, I've got to drop down to sixty. Come on. The brakes. Thank you. I love the time of day that was chosen for this scenario. What is that? Oh. My eye saw something that wasn't. As soon as I moved the camera, it wasn't what I thought it was. <laughs> Are there any vehicles around? I'm not seeing too many. Empty highways, I've not seen any vehicles here. I don't even know if there's an ADB. I don't think there's an ADBS in this. I don't see a reset switch or anything. 726, ETA 724. Oh, we're bang on time, look at that. Yeah, I've got a feeling I'm going to finish this scenario and then. Because of look, because of that little speeding section that I, I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Maybe the signals over the track, the yellow dots. Maybe there was a clue there. But in terms of what was displayed down on the track below me, um, I was obeying the speed limit. But for whatever reason, I'm losing 500 points. So I'll be lucky if I even get a silver star out of this. 500's a lot to lose. I probably won't even. I'll probably get a bronze to be honest. Which is pretty harsh. Considering it's like a 60 minute scenario, right? Which is pretty much what this is. I think, oh, it's at 45. But whatever. It's like best part of an hour. You do a scenario, you drive all the speed limits. One section, you break the speed limit for about 20 seconds. And you go from gold star all the way down to bronze if you're lucky. Little bit harsh? I think so. I think there's a train coming this way. Yes, there is. Ha <laughs> ha! Do my favourite thing, fly right through the cab. <laughs> See how many passengers you can spot. 
Unless it's a freight train, of course. Oh, 100 mile an hour speed limit. Here we go. Whoa! Look at that. Look at that. So many people. <laughs> Best thing ever. Wow, 100 mile an hour speed limit. You can really open up. Find out what this thing can do now. It's just continuous, isn't it? Look at that. It's just relentless acceleration. It's really good. Okay. Let's slow it down a touch. Let's activate the cruise control. And then bring the lever forward. Uh, 93. Let's push it forward a touch. Bring it back about there. And then we see a 45 limit coming up just as I activate the cruise control. So let's turn that off again. <laughs> Kill the uh, acceleration. Start braking. Okay, go via Shellmain 2 East 726, ETA 725.42. So again, time is doing well. Oh, that must be so annoying for the driver gets to open it up to 100 and then very quickly has to bring it back down to 45. He's like, no, let me drive quickly. I think we need a bit more brake than that. There we go. Look at the speed signals through here. 45, 30, 45, 50, 45, 50. It's like, what? Ooh, time in this bonus, 200. I'll take that. Okay, different part of town, by the look of it. New Rochelle. That's where we are. Anybody here live in New Rochelle? Get the speed down, get the speed down. There we go. Cool. It's a poster on the right. The finale. Four men. One film. Never even heard of it. Is this a platform? New Rochelle platform. Go via. We're not stopping here. There is as well. Look at that. Bye bye, suckers. We're not stopping here. That was kind of pointless, wasn't it? Why didn't we should have been on the next lane, and then we could have just gone straight through? Kind of felt like we got slowed down when we shouldn't have done, really. New Rochelle, 0.4 miles. Let's bring it up to 45. Damn it, there we go. I think we're still switching track, yes we are. So we seem to get put onto a slower lane for some reason. Another time limit bonus, that's two time limit bonuses at 400 points. And that still doesn't make up for the amount of points we lost for that 20 second speeding fine. Which is basically what it was. to accelerate.
Alrighty, so next stop, Stamford, track 2, 15 miles away. So far, so good. Why is the school bus on the left? Is that re just refueling? What is that? Is that some kind of weird depot? This is a fun viewpoint. This one here. <laughs> you get a real sense of speed when you're this low to the ground. The station's there. Can't see. It all goes by so quickly. No idea what station that is. Nice warm cab. All's looking good. Parking brakes released. Auto brakes off. Cruise system off. Front hatch closed. Yeah, you'd want that. Lighting. What's that say? High or HL? Tilt system isolated. Tilt system activated. Why was it isolated? Why would you not want it to tilt? I wonder if it was activated in the other cab and when I switched to the rear cab. I wonder if it was I should have activated it then. It's 744. We're ahead of the game. Inappropriate horn points lost. I don't care. <laughs> it's worth it for the fun. Oh, the car. Amazing. All right, there is vehicles around here. So yeah, that's the Acela Amtrak Express. Whoa, hello. I'm guessing when you've got track IR, you can see things you're not supposed to see. <laughs> that being one of them. I thought it was a bit drafty in here. It's 70... Yeah, because when you don't have track IR, it kind of restricts your turning movement to something, you know, like that or like that. But when you've got track IR, you get free camera, so you can just do this. Which <laughs> it's kind of looks a bit cool. But obviously, it's something to do with the normals, the vector normals on these surfaces. He says, talking technical for a second. I'll shut up. So we're heading east, we must be, because that's where the sun is right now, and it's in the morning, so we must be heading east, right? Yeah, Bird Gorillas taught me that one. <laughs> Not really. Ten miles to Stamford. 7.46, we're looking good. Is that a freight train? That looks like a freight train. Oh yeah. Is that one of the Penzies? That's nowhere near long enough. Key okay, dropping down to 50. I wish the mouse cursor would hide itself. There's just no need for it to stay on. Why can't it just auto-hide after five seconds of no movement? Perfect speed change. Getting used to this train. It's the back. And that's the drive-by camera.
Yeah, the only... I mean, one of the disappointing things is the fact that the external display doesn't work. I'm guessing that that says 2001. That's supposed to change. Now, either I don't know how to do it, or that doesn't work. But when you, ch when you do that, it kind of... Hang on. If you put it on, and then you do that... So the destination change is set to Philadelphia. Which is wrong, because we're going to Stamford. No service. But outside, it doesn't change. It just stays with a number. If you keep holding it right, it kind of goes to the different... See what I mean? But outside, again, doesn't change anything. So, unless I'm doing something wrong, I, that doesn't appear to work properly. I don't know where the destination is being displayed, but it's not outside. Would have been nice to see that working. A bit more like OMSI bus simulator. The question is, is it worth speeding up to 70? I need to go back down to 45. Probably not. No, oh, get off. Don't speed. Just enough points, thank you very much. Let's pan out and have a look here. Quite a lot of stuff going on. I'm just going to bring it up to about 50. <clears throat> There's not much point going to 70, I don't think. What? You know what would be cool, actually, just thinking about this? It'd be cool if the passengers gave you kind of a rating at the end. <laughs> like, comfort levels, whether you did any excessive braking and they spilt the coffee. You know, whether you were on time or not, they gave you kind of ratings that way. That'd be kind of a nice touch. It's a weird thing. It's like when you're a bus driver, obviously you have a lot more interaction with passengers than you do when you're a train driver. Like, you know, when was the last time you spoke to the train driver of the train you got on? Yeah? But when was the last time you spoke to the bus driver? So it'd be kind of nice to get some feedback from the people in your train, I think. American flag. Right there. Important government building, maybe? Possible. Not much in the way of signalling through here. Like, we're not, you know, being asked to stop and start very much. There are no slow trains ahead. That was the other scenario, the one above this one. What is that? Some kind of metro tube system? Hole and... Oh no, it's being pushed by two engines. How strange. That was so weird. That was basically like something out of the underground being pushed by two locomotives. Did they do that? That was the oddest thing. It looked like a giant nail, in terms of the shape. Don't see that on British railways. Six miles to Stamford. Now this is a straight bit of track. We've got a 50 change coming up annoyingly. Didn't really get much chance to use that cruise control. I think there's a scenario, the first scenario is quite a, a long scenario. You don't have much in the way of pickups. So it's possible you would get to use the, the cruise control a bit more on that one. But on this one there's been quite a lot of speed changes. 
Come on, let's get down to 50. It's basically 50 through the platform, isn't it, by the look of it? There we go. Oh no, it's still 70 through the platform. There's the flag again. Makes you wonder how often they reuse the same assets across the scenery, but you just don't notice. Come on, let's get up to 70 again. I don't think we need to worry about the time, though. I'm already at least a minute early. Not really sure how I've managed that. Apart from speeding for 20 seconds, maybe that helps. <laughs> there we go. That'll do. Yeah, look at the highway again. There's just hardly anything on it. It's almost like... I don't know. It's almost like they forgot to tell the game that there's, that there's vehicles on that bit. Like this one, there are. Oh God, that is so Sim City skyline. City skyline right there. <laughs> that road, that ramp. If you've played the game, you know exactly what I mean. site going on. What a body of water this is then. A big marina here. Does that go out to the sea maybe? If so, that will be an estuary. I kind of feel like, like this train is quite a... Um, it's quite a fast passenger train, really, isn't it? It's built to just go long distances in comfort. And it kind of feels like this scenario doesn't really take advantage of the train, if that makes sense. It kind of feels like this scenario, you would put more of a shorter run commuter train on it. This feels like more of a long haul train. I could be wrong, but... It just feels like that. It feels like it's doing a lot of stop starting and this train's more built for cruising. Is that far? What is this? Look at that. I love the way the lights are actually illuminating the side of this thing. Frame rate's taking a battering. You can hear the engine coming. Here it is. Cool. We overtook it right at the uh, station. That was awesome. Here we. Oh, Stamford Track. Here we are. Final destination 1.5 miles. Yeah, I'm predicting a a bronze, almost silver star for this. That's my, my prediction. That's assuming I can actually um, not lose more points. <laughs> Slow down! Stamford Track 2. Okay, what does Stamford look like then? Let's get 
back in the cab in case I missed something. Is this really a 50 mile an hour approach? Blimey. This is this station is just looks like a giant bridge over the track. That is a narrow gap for passengers to get off. Hello? No? Okay. <laughs> I was hoping somebody would have got off. There's no inside cab view, unfortunately. Uh, inside passenger train view. Ticket machine. We just got to wait for the time now. Escalators. It looks like, honestly, it looks like East Croydon in London. East Croydon's like this. It's these narrow things, that, like steps up to the bridge. Well, it's not escalators, but. Stamford. She's got headphones on. <laughs> Just have to sit here and passenger watch now. Until the game allows us to finish. What's your prediction, guys? Silver or bronze? Good job, another drive will take off from here. Time for a hot cup of coffee. Scenario complete. This is that freight train. The one that we passed earlier. There he goes. <laughs> cool. Oh man, I didn't even get a bronze, are you kidding? The outrage. There it is, look at that, look at that section there. 70409. No, 70824 to 70840. 16 seconds is all it took for me to go pretty much if you ignore the other points, that pretty much took me from about here to here in 16 seconds. I call harsh on that. But it's complete. That was that one. There are two others in the Amtrak Acceler Express. This is the New York, New York to New Haven scenario pack. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, guys. Until the next one, take care and happy driving.